Hello everyone, welcome to Example of Physics. I am back with yet another question. And this question is on the topic oscillation and little bit thermodynamics also. So let us get into the question as fast as possible. First let us read the question. The question says, a cylindrical piston of mass m slides smoothly, that means there is no friction, slides smoothly inside a long cylinder, cylinder enclosed at one end and enclosing a certain mass of gas. The cylinder is kept with its axis horizontal. If the piston is disturbed slightly from its equilibrium position, it oscillates simple harmonically. The period of the oscillation will be. So here is the equation. So in this question, we are given a cylindrical container and it consists of frictionless piston. And now at equilibrium position, so I am considering this mark as equilibrium position and I will denote it as x equal to 0. That is displacement from the equilibrium position is 0. So at equilibrium position, pressure outside is how much? Obviously atmospheric pressure and pressure inside is how much? That should also be atmospheric pressure. That is the reason the piston is not moving forward or backward. Suppose we apply force on the piston. There are two ways of applying force, either forward, either backward, into the cylinder or out of the cylinder. You can take any case. I am going to take the first case where I am applying force into the cylinder. When I apply force into the cylinder, what happens? The piston moves by some distance. Let's say the distance is x. So that is the displacement from the mean position. How much is it? x. And because of this displacement, the pressure inside the cylinder increases. And what is the pressure outside? Pressure outside is P0. Inside P, outside P0, inside pressure is greater than outside pressure. As a result, the gas applies a force. What type of force? Restoring force. So that the piston again comes back to the x equal to 0 portion or position. As a result, what happens? P becomes P0. When I move the piston inward, some work has been done and that is stored as potential energy. And when I release the piston, the work done on the gas produces restoring force and makes the piston to come to its original position, but it does not stop there because it possesses kinetic energy. So in order to make its velocity, it will move ahead until some more displacement and that displacement is x. So there x is equal to x. Now what happens? Pressure inside is less than pressure outside. As a result, what happens? A restoring force acts on the piston as soon as pressure inside becomes less than pressure outside and it slows down the piston after reaching its amplitude position it comes back to its it tries to move back to its equilibrium position and this keeps on happening hence what is formed here oscillation so i hope the concept of oscillation is clear so i can show you in a both way but I don't want to confuse you. I will take only one way that is I am applying force inward. So pressure inside becomes greater than the pressure outside. As a result, restoring force will act outwards. You can try for this condition also, you will get the same result. Now, let us try to find out what is the pressure inside. Now, since the displacement is very small and no heat is provided during this process, this is going to be an isothermal process. And what happens in isothermal process? P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. So now the pressure inside is P and volume inside is I am writing it as a V. So PV is equal to pressure when the, bot when the piston was at the equilibrium position, pressure was P0. And I will write volume as V0, original pressure, 
P naught, atmospheric pressure, original volume V naught. Now from this pressure becomes equal to P naught V naught by V. So what is a V naught initial volume? How to write the volume of a cylinder? Area of the cross section multiplied with height of the cylinder. Now for the second case, area of the cross section it is same A, but the length of the cylinder which is decreased by x. So h minus x here A A gets cancelled out. P becomes equal to P naught h by h minus x. So this is the pressure inside. Now the difference between the pressure inside and outside that is P minus P naught will create what restoring force. will create restoring force. So how to write restoring force? F restoring is equal to minus the pressure difference multiplied with area. Pressure is thrust per unit area. So I will write the, the how is the force acting perpendicularly to the surface hence the force by area. So force becomes pressure into area. So this is our restoring force. What is restoring force here? F restoring is equal to minus P minus P naught into A. What is P? P is P naught H by H minus X minus P naught into A. Now let's take LCM over there. So what I'm going to get? P naught H by H minus X minus P naught H minus X multiplied with area. So this is P naught. If I take P naught as common, okay, let it be P naught H minus P naught H plus. I have to multiply this, then this. Remember the minus sign minus P naught H plus P naught X divided by H minus X this into A. So what is the final expression P naught H P naught H gets cancelled out minus P naught X by H minus X into A. This is our restoring force. Now what is acceleration? A is equal to F restoring divided by mass. What is mass? Mass of the piston. So minus P naught X by H minus X multiplied with A divided by M this gives me acceleration. So remember this acceleration will keep it in a box. Now what are we supposed to find out? We need to tell that there is going to be an SHM. Now what is condition for SHM? Condition for SHM is the acceleration must be equal to minus omega square of x and what do we hear? Here we have a is equal to minus p naught x a by h minus x into m. Here a is proportional to x, here a is proportional to x by h minus x. That means is it an SHM? No. What will I do to make it an SHM? So if I make x as very very small compared to h, then I can write h minus x is equal to almost h. So acceleration becomes minus p naught x into a divided by h into m or minus p naught a by h m multiplied with x. Now acceleration is proportional to x. Now this is an SHM. Now compare these two equations. So what I am going to get? Just compare them. Omega square is equal to P naught A by H by M. That gives us omega is equal to under root of P naught A by hm. 
now we know time period is equal to 2 pi by omega so what we can write 2 pi by under root p naught a by h m so what is the final expression for time period t is equal to 2 pi under root h by m p naught a now this is our time period of the shm remember what is the condition for the piston to be in shm the condition is h should x should be very very less compared to x that means we have to provide very small push if i provide small push then the piston will move or will be in simple harmonic motion if you have understood this please like this video and share it with your friends and family members if you have any doubts we have telegram channel where you can send your doubts and i will provide with the clarification as soon as possible so thanks for watching this video we'll meet again bye bye